Hello world, it is Saturday, May 1st, and bright sunshine this morning. Although chilly, it was in the 40s when I let the dogs out this morning, and there was frost on the gra on the grass, so. But I think it's supposed to be close to 70 today, and I think near 80 tomorrow, so big changes in the weather again. The devotion is entitled, As It Used to Be, by Vince Amlin. Vince bases the devotion upon Amos, chapter 9, verse 11. New International Version. In that day I will restore David's fallen shelter, I will repair its broken walls, and restore its ruins, and will rebuild it as it used to be. Vince writes, I haven't sat in traffic like this in a year. The GPS shows a red thread stretching between me and my destination. I'm driving to our church president's new house for our monthly check-in and it's rush hour in Chicago. I'm late. I haven't been late in a year. Last month on Zoom, someone suggested we could meet in person next time. We'd be vaccinated. It would be fun. Now I'm driving an hour and a half one way for a meeting that we've gotten down to 30 minutes since we went virtual. My palms are sweating from the social anxiety. Then I remember I, sh then I, remember I should have brought a housewarming gift. I didn't even think of it. I haven't been in another house for a year. Until now, I would have read this passage from Amos as good news. Return from exile, the city rebuilt as it used to be. Now I know it's more complicated. There are plenty of things that were bad about the way things used to be, for one, but even the good things, the things I've missed. Am I ready for a return? Our half hour meeting balloons to five hours round trip. I show up empty handed. I am awkward, perhaps as it used to be. And as the evening stretches out and we plan what's next for our congregation and we eat and drink and my face starts to hurt from laughing, I realize I haven't felt like this in a year. It's good. The inconvenience, the inefficiency, the effort to be near one another, the spending of our lives on each other, it's worth it. Vince's prayer. God of return, give me peace and energy to welcome back the good things. Amen. Well, Vince um, has some good points in his devotion and some similar, familiar, I should say, um, feelings about um, going back to normal. Because there are certain aspects, um, like I attend a um, association meeting once a month, and it's in Lima, or not Lima, it's in Tiffin, and uh, it's like an hour, hour and a half round trip. Um, I would usually go to Holgate, and then I would drive together with Pastor David Orr from St. John's Holgate. But it was an hour, hour and a half each way, and then it was... Um, Oh, that was, I'm sorry, that was in Bluffton. That was like an hour each way. Um, and then another meeting in Tiffin, an hour and a half, which is by myself, um, each way. And it just made for a really long day sometimes, especially in the wintertime. It was not fun. And it's been kind of nice doing those meetings via Zoom. But I'm also looking forward to being back in the same room with some of those people, too. Um, there's pluses and minuses about it. And Vince kind of references it too because he has a little asterisk at the bottom uh, about um, learning about the, or not forgetting about the accessibility we've learned this year because doing things remotely and on Zoom has allowed other people to be involved in the meetings that wouldn't necessarily have the time. Um, and people from distances. I'm in one book group where we have someone, a couple of people from Toledo that join us. And that really wouldn't be that possible. Um, well, I guess it could be possible if they wanted to drive an hour to get here um, to have conversation together. So, yes, as things return back to normal, we'll have to get used to being in the same room and in how strange as it might seem, being in someone else's house or building or, or whatever. Um, but I hope we also don't forget the things that we've learned during the pandemic 
and can find a way to continue some of the same things that we've learned. And remember, whether we're here, we're with each other personally or electronically, God's presence is still there. Hope you have a good day. Hope you'll join us tomorrow for worship. We're both live streaming and in person. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care.